These two guys are some of the most insane sample makers I know. And in this video, they break down this sample from their collaborative sample pack. So I sent yeah. him a starter. Basically, after those keys, I ended up chopping out the first chord. Me and Akira chopped out the first chord and replaced it with these keys. I basically did the same chords, just different voicings of it, because it's guitar. And that sounds like this. Is this DI? I don't remember. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then the bass is just a one shot from, or no, it's not a one shot. It's ample bass light. It's like a free bass VST. This is just, it's like a guitar solo, but also like a lead guitar, because in the beginning it just plays like a melody. And then I go more into like a solo in the second half of this. So I'll just play it by. And this was the eye as well, I'm assuming. Right. Or and then Akira suggested like a vibraphone bill. So it sounds like this. Ooh. Then here is the vocals. Bongo. This is just a bongo loop. Basically, it's just a strong filter taking out the lows and the highs. And then vintage verb, vintage verb, sorry. I do like the lowest size and the lowest uh, decay. So it sounds almost like a room, mm -hmm. uh, room reverb. And then I actually pitch it down. Oh, I already know the guitar preset. Knowing time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you probably do. You're probably right uh wrong one ah. and then guitar rig oops I already know it's the buzz ah, michael ah yes <laughs> <laughs> but i always take off like a lot of the i take off like the reverbs and delays and chorus and stuff i just uh, bass is really simple all i did was an eq to cut out high ends i added bulk compressor just uh to compress the bass and then another EQ. everything else is raw for that so it's like an eq NS1 to get rid of like white noise. Yeah. Vintage verb again, um, with a little bit higher of a size since it's like a lead guitar, but still like zero decay. And like all we did was we pitched it up an octave with sound shifter. Mm, and yeah. then um, we just added an EQ. Yeah, it's a free it's contact free. vibraphone. Huh? It's really nice. What the fuck is that? Black <laughs> sound concert vibe. Yeah, Ty put me onto that, bro. Ooh. I use it all the time now. Um, fruity flangus. This this is a trick that I probably went over in the last video too. Like I always use fruity flangus. It just makes it wider. I didn't do a huge wet because I didn't want it to be super wide. Um, I just like to make it wider with that because it kind of doubles it a little bit. It's almost like a vocal doubler. The bongos, um, just an EQ. Thank you. 
and then with and I can run through the chain real quick. Yes, sir. Next door two with the speaker in the back, and then size uh -huh. zero, bright zero, reverb time. Um, another one that's like that. Next door three. And then bedroom eleven. And then next door three. Next door three again. <laughs> the next door three again. And then fruity compressor. And then another fruity compressor. Huh. Um and yeah, that's the chain. And sometimes what I like to do is I'll export it in this chain and then run it through the chain again. And then it just gives it an even bigger room feel or like a more of a uh, texturized room feel. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how I came up with the keys. As for the little chromatics I was talking about, it's like these little things right here. Now this was amazing. And some people normal sample how to evolve it into an actual composition. If you are, you should check out this video.